Allied Boys and Girls Club of Dane County is leading the conversation on how to increase positive interactions between young adults and law enforcement. NBC15's Lauren Winfrey spent the day listening in on that discussion and explains how those in our area are responding to officer-involved shootings and incidents happening in Madison and around the country. John, they're calling it a call to action and a way for the community to come together. The Allied Boys and Girls Club spent the day discussing with young people 10 rules of survival in the event they're stopped by the police. Now, Richard Harris is the executive director of Vision Beyond Bars, and he also works to train police officers on the issue of unconscious bias in Madison and the surrounding areas. He says creating a space for youth to speak openly about their experiences is timely and much needed, especially after the two most recent police shootings involving African-American men. We're being proactive. But we're not relieving the responsibility of law enforcement to make changes and reform on their part also. But because that's not going to happen overnight, it is imperative that we as a community educate our children now. And those in attendance seem to agree. I spoke with a 17-year-old local resident who says although it's a difficult time in our country, he wants to be a part of the solution. It's just a numb feeling, you know. It's, it's just like... I mean, as far as the past years, you just get used to it, you know? And it just makes me feel like I just want to be a part of the solution. That's just what, it just makes me feel determined and it just makes me feel um, motivated to do something about it. Harris led the discussion today, stressing the importance of positive communication skills for children and young adults and compliance, especially during police encounters. Event organizers say the importance of this discussion is to increase the chances of young people walking away from encounters with the police with their freedom, their self-respect, and most importantly, their life. Reporting in Fitchburg, Lauren Winfrey, NBC 15 News. Lauren, thanks. Those community leaders stress the importance of continuing the conversation. They plan to schedule more discussions in the months to come.